everyone. The Karnataka set is going to happen very soon. And many people were asking us for exam practice. And also our net students, everybody can practice. So we are back, Ankita and me, with a lot of amazing questions. Hello, everyone. Right. So are you ready, everyone? These are practice tests with lots of questions. Simple, simple questions, but tough, tough topics. In our course, we are going to give simple, simple topics with tough, tough questions from this time. <laughs> exam practice. <laughs> so that you'll be able to guess correctly in the exam. Today our course started. I hope you watched the live. All right, I'll share my screen. We have a PowerPoint presentation. Karnataka set crash course. K set is not Kerala set, that is different. And this is day one. We have both papers, one and two covered here a little bit. Goodbye to all that is the autobiography of, is it George Orwell, Ernest Hemingway, Robert Graves or Christopher Isherwood? Goodbye to all that. Tell me, everyone, I will tell you a clue. This is based on the First World War. Ankita, what is the answer? Yes, here the answer is Robert Graves. Robert Graves was the author of many other works. I, Claudius. He wrote a book on Lawrence of Arabia. T.E. Lawrence of Arabia. I think Robert Graves also translated the Rubaiyat along with Edward Fitzgerald, another translator is Robert Graves. Okay, some questions on these writers can be expected. Next question. Edward Said employed his technique of contrapuntal reading. That means showing the elements of colonizer as well as colonized, contrapuntal reading to expose deep implications of imperialism in the text dash. Is it sense and sensibility? Emma, Mansfield Park, or is it persuasion? What do you think, dear friends? Contrapuntal reading is a method of reading advocated by Edward Said. Ankita? Yes, uh, 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 it was applied uh, for the text Mansfield Park. That's right. In Mansfield Park, there are uh, situations that calls for postcolonial reading. Uncle Bertram has plantations in Antigua and Uncle Bertram has slavery there. When he returns from Antigua, Fanny Price is asking him about slavery and she meets with dead silence. That is discussed by Edward Said. He does a contrapuntal reading of Mansfield Park. Good. Now, he did this in which work? In which work did Edward Said do a contrapuntal reading of Mansfield Park? It is in Culture and Imperialism, 1993. 1993. Okay. Indian literature. Do you recognize this famous professor? He was from Mysore. He is associated with an institution called Dvanya Loka. Ankita, can you read the question? Huh. Okay. The Swan and the Eagle, Essays on Indian English Literature, is a work by whom? G.J.V. Prasad, Alok Mukherjee, C.D. Narasimhaya, or is it G.N. Devi? Who wrote the this? Swan. Yeah. Yes. The Swan and the Eagle. Swan is beautiful, feminine. Eagle is powerful, masculine. He is looking at the two sides of Indian literature. It is C.D. Narasimhaya. A very important professor from Karnataka. He was like Mulkaraj Anand, same contemporary. Which play among the following is based on Mahabharata's Adi Parva? You know the author. It is Girish Karnad. Is it Yayati? Flowers? Wedding album? Or is it Nagamandala? What is the answer? Mahabharata's Adi Parva. YouTubers? 
Ankita, what do you think is the answer? Yeah, the answer is Yayati. Yayati is a mythological story taken from Mahabharata's Adi Parva, where a man is so materialistic, he gives his old age to his son Puru and he indulges in a materialistic life for 1000 years, the King Yayati. He has a wife, Devyani, and his mistress is Sharmishta. Now, which among the following is the female Ulysses character created by Virginia Woolf? Female Ulysses. Ankita, can you read the options and tell us the answer? Okay. So who is the female Ulysses? Rachel Winrace, Mrs. Dalloway, Lily Briscoe, or Mrs. Ramsey? Because, you know, we know that Ulysses is about a person... Uh, as we see in the novel Ulysses by James Joyce, a person who, uh, whose one day we get to see, right? It, like a circadian novel. So, whose one day we get to see in in, in one of this through one of these characters? It is uh, Mrs. Dalloway. She is the female Ulysses. Yes, it's a circadian novel by uh, Virginia Woolf, and it's a novel where we get to see how she spent a day of her life. So and the, the conflict that the protagonist feels with the society around him, that is there in both these works, Ulysses and Mrs. Dalloway. That is what unites these two works. It is about the conflict that the individual, the protagonist feels with the society. Great. Before Hip Hop was Hip Hop is a dash by Rebecca Walker. Rebecca Walker is the daughter of Alice Walker. And what is this? What kind of essay it is? That is the question. Is it a satirical essay, paradoxical essay, reflective essay, or conversational essay? This is a tough question because you don't know what it is. I think it is reflective essay. Do you agree, Ankita? Yes, it's a reflective essay. Because here, Rebecca Walker reflects on her past days and she, you know, almost illuminates how hip hop affected her lifestyle, her uh, viewpoint, her perspective in life. So it's a reflective essay. Yes. And also, uh, Rebecca Walker is a very important figure of the third wave. She said, I am the third wave. Right. Choose the wrongly matched pair. You fewest the anatomy of wit. Is it by John Lilly? Yes. Is Tamerlane the Great by Christopher Marlowe? Yes. Is Bartholomew Fair by Thomas Hayward? No, it is by Ben Johnson. Is a game at chess by Thomas Middleton? Yes. A game at chess is alluded to in the wasteland. Do you remember that? Bartholomew Fair is one of the plays of Ben Johnson. Do you remember the other plays of Ben Johnson, everyone? You can write to us in the chat box. He has written very major plays, Volpony, Epicene, Bartholomew Fair, Cynthia's Revels. Yes. Ankita, your turn. Which Pindaric ode? was written by Dryden in honor of St. Cecilia's Day. Alexander's Feast, Religio Leici, The Hind and the Panther, or None. Which among the following is a Pindaric Ode by Dryden? Dryden wrote Pindaric Odes with variations. Alexander's Feast is a variation of the Pindaric Ode. Religio Leici is a religious satire. The hind and the panther is an allegory. The hind or the deer is attacked by the panther. Religio Leiji supports Anglican church. The hind and the panther supports Catholic church. Remember that in Alexander's feast, the poet Timotheus is singing. And here it is a song in honor of Saint Cecilia, the patron saint of music. A Pindaric Ode is an encomiastic ode in praise of somebody or something. That is the oldest kind of ode. There are also Horatian odes, which are not so formal as the Pindaric Ode. 
Mother India is a polemical book by an American historian. It was a very controversial book because she criticized the status of women and girls in Indian society. She criticized child marriage. And she had a very severe perception of Hindu culture. Is it Wendy Brown, Catherine Mayo, Annie Besant or Willa Cather? It is a PYQ. It is Catherine Mayo. Good. Next, over to you, Ankita. Which theoretical concept among the following was not formulated by Mikhail Bakhtin? Carnivalesque, heteroglossia, polyphony, or panopticon? So, which of these is not prop propagated by Bakhtin? All of you might know, carnivalesque is a term propagated by Bakhtin. Carnivalesque is a term. And then... Heteroglossia, yes. Polyphony, yes. But Panopticon is propagated by Michel Foucault. Okay. Ankita, you again. Lucetta Templeman, a French woman, is a character in which novel among the following? The Return of the Native, Jude the Obscure, Far from the Madding Crowd or The Mayor of Castle Bridge. So all of these are novels by Thomas Hardy. And in one of them, we see this French woman, Lucita Templeman. She previously had an affair with the protagonist. And after some time, she is back again in his life. It creates difficulties in both of their lives, actually. So in which novel do we get to see her? It is the mayor of Casterbridge, the life and death of a man of character. He used to be engaged to Lucetta Templeman, Michael Henchard. But then she marries Donald Farfrey and she dies of an epileptic fit. This is a very important character in the mayor of Casterbridge. You know, Elizabeth Jane lives with Lucetta Templeman for some time. Choose the wrongly matched pair. The Pilgrim's Progress, is it a religious allegory? Yes. Windsor Forest, is it a royalist pastoral? Yes. On His Blindness, is it a sonnet? Yes, it is one of the sonnets of Milton. The Vanity of Human Wishes, is it an epistolary novel? No, it is a Juvenalian satire by Samuel Johnson. Juvenalian satire. Staying with the trouble, making kin in the kithusin or something. I just looked up the pronunciation. I forgot. So difficult. It is the name of a tribe. <laughs> if you look up the pronunciation, please let me know, guys. Because I did look it up, but uh, I forgot. Do you remember, Ankita? It was something like that. <laughs> It's very tongue twisted. I have... Yeah, we looked it up together, Ankita and me. <laughs> Staying with the trouble, making kin in, in the Kittu scene or something. It is a book by whom? It is the name of a tribe. Is it Donna Haraway, Bruna Latour, Felix Guathari, or none of these? Bruna Latour is the author of what was it, Ankita? We were never modern. Now we have become modern. That is a very important author. We should know more about him. We should read more about him. He's important in narratology, anthropology, etc. Isn't it, Angita? Yes. Uh, his name is very prominent when it comes to narrative theories, narratology. And yes, so Bruno Latour is very important in technological studies also. Uh, so yeah. Do you think he's the author of this book? No, it is Donna Haraway who wrote this book, oh. Staying with the Trouble. Donna Haraway who wrote about... The cyborg has written about this tribe. Please remember this, guys. Look up the major authors, the theorists, and their works. In Karnataka set, it can be important. It is important in net also. Who wrote the animal that therefore I am? 
Everybody is looking at where is the name of the author? I can see the name of the author here. It is Jacques Derrida. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> it is Derrida. He's saying, yeah, I wrote it. You can... Uh, apply animal studies. It's a very important book in animal studies also. The animal that therefore I am. Now, what I want is facts. That is the opening line of which novel, Ankita? Please read the options yes. and also say the answer. Yes. So which uh, novel among the following has this line? Now, what I want is facts. Blickhaus, Hard Times, Our Mutual Friend or A Christmas Carol. Da -da -da. Yes, the answer is hard times. Who is saying that? Uh, uh, Mr. Gradgrind. Thomas Gradgrind says, no, what I want is facts because he's a utilitarian. Yes. He's very practical and this book is against utilitarianism because facts alone are not enough in life. Yes. And to whom is it dedicated, this book, Hard Times, Ankita? It was dedicated to uh, Thomas Carlyle. Yes, Thomas Carlyle. Very good. Hard times. Look at Thomas Grad Grind. Yeah. Angita, can you please read the next one? The Remembered Village is a 1978 ethnological work by Dash. M. Srinivas, Verrier Elwin, Arundhati Roy, or P. Sainath, who wrote this Srinivas. ethnological work. M. Srinivas, nahi, M. N. Srinivas. Oh, sorry. M. N. Srinivas, yes. M. N. Srinivas. And that is the answer. He's a very important sociologist. This is a PYQ. You should know these uh, sociologists and nonfiction writers also. We have included many of them in our encyclopedia. Right. Adam Dalglish. Encyclopedia matlab, Indian Literature Encyclopedia that is going to come. Adam Dalglish is a fictional character who is the protagonist of 14 mystery novels. So who wrote 14 mystery novels? Is it G.K. Chesterton? No. His protagonist is Father Brown. Is it Agatha Christie? No. It is uh, Hercule Poirot or Miss Marple. Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle? No. He did not write 14 mystery novels. It must be P.D. James. He wrote only four novels. Uh, Almost everything he wrote was stories, Arthur Conan Doyle. So it is P.D. James. Did you know she's a woman? Yeah. Adam Dalglish. Ankita, you. Yeah. Okay. Which work among the following presents a profound and challenging investigation into the nature of human reason, its knowledge, and its illusions? The politics of truth, critique of pure reason, a treatise of human nature or none of the following? I mean, none of the above. A profound and challenging investigation into human reason. It must be critique of pure reason by Immanuel Kant. And that is the answer. So a little bit of philosophy, a little bit of narratology, all these things we should know. Bombay, a classic movie, originally made in Tamil, then made in Hindi. It, it is inter-religious love in the context of Bombay riots and Babri Masjid demolition. Is it Sanjay Leela Bansali, Anurag Kashyap, Mani Ratnam or Ritu Parno Ghosh? Because I said it's originally Tamil, you might have understood. It is Mani Ratnam. Great. Ankita, you. Is the night chilly and dark? The night is chilly but not dark. These are lines from which poem among the following? The Rhyme of the Ancient Marina, Kubla Khan, Christabel, or Frost at Midnight. So, you know, as these lines have a very gothic tone, so I think uh, we can eliminate the options which are not really a possibility. And you can also, you know, uh, decide which can be. And you should know for sure that Kubla, uh, sorry, Christabel is set in a night when uh, yes. a lady is going out to pray and meeting a witch. Yes, it's an incomplete gothic ballad. Yeah. It is Christabel. It is the middle of night by the castle rock and the owls have awakened the crowing cock. To wit, to who and hark again the crowing cock. How drowsily it crew. That is how it begins. 
which state has the maximum mangrove vegetation in India? Are this is not fair. You are asking about your own state, Ankita, but there are some little bit mangrove in Kerala also. <laughs> you know the Sundarbans, man yes. mangrove forest vegetation. Wow. Have you taken a boat ride through a place like this, Ankita? I have. No. Here in Trivandrum, there are little bit mangrove forests left in Puvar, where you can go in a boat through these mangroves. It's beautiful. It's West Bengal. The Sundarbans. Ankita, can you tell me the name of any work set in the Sundarbans? Uh, the Hungry Died by Amitav Ghosh. Okay. Can yeah. you name another novel where Sundarbans is there? Uh, Salman Rushdie's Midnight's Children. Okay, very yeah. good. <laughs> in Sundarbans, there is a goddess whose legend Amitav Ghosh has written about. What is that? Jungle goddess? Nama. Yeah, Jungle Nama. Bon Bibi. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> very good. Name the Women Empowerment Program initiated by the central government in the year 1989. This picture that is given here is about American empowerment, women empowerment. This is a classic picture that red spotted uh, scarf is classic picture of American em women empowerment. But in India, what is it called? Is it Mahila Kalyan, Mahila Samakhya, Mahila Jagriti, Mahila Andolan? Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Andolan must be against the government. Government will not start Andolan. <laughs> what is the answer, Angita? It is uh, Mahila Samak Samakya. Very good. Wow. Women empowerment. Which one of the following is important when a teacher communicates with students? Sympathy, empathy, apathy, animosity. Oh. <laughs> apathy and animosity are negative. It must be empathy. What do you think, Ankita? Yes, empathy. Yes, empathy. Or uh, he is crying. Empathize, karo, teacher. <laughs> Gyan, vigyan, vimukte. This is the motto of. Is it Ignu? Jana vigyana ayog. What is that? University of Mysuru. UGC. Tough question, Ankita. What do you think? It's the motto of UGC. Yes. We know this picture. Yeah. You know, this is that logo that dominates our lives for many years. <laughs> no doubt about it. Who established Seva in Gujarat? It's a PYQ. Self-Employed Women's Association. It is founded by, it is given here. Ela Ben Bhatt. Ela Bhatt. Ela. Ela Ben Bhatt. Very famous name. Okay, that brings us to the end of this small, sweet little mock test. We have introduced a lot of topics here that are important. When, I, when, when we give you a question on MN Srinivas, for example, we don't mean that you will get a question on MN Srinivas, but uh, we want you to go online and read up on all the sociologists, uh, important uh, figures, prose writers, maybe Amartya Sen, maybe Ramachandra Guha, maybe Romila Thapar. So please remember the area from which we have given you a question. That is what we mean. Okay, those who want to study seriously about Indian literature and M.N. Srinivas and other people like that, please wait for our Indian Literature Encyclopedia that is getting released in two volumes at the end of this month, beginning of next month. Ta -da -dang! By then, Karnataka set will be over. No problem. You can prepare for net with it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye from me and Ankita. Bye-bye. God bless you all.